Welcome back to another video from Evolutions. Uh, today we're just going to do a, uh, a little five things I hate and five things I love about my Volvo S80. Um, don't worry guys, I've gotten your messages. Yes, we still have the Camaro. Yes, we still have the Evo. Yes, we're still going to be doing you know, fun stuff. Right now it's just been cold and none of the cars at all are either A, running, B, can get any traction in this weather whatsoever, and C, it's the winter time so we really aren't supposed to be driving it due to our insurance. It's like rent and I only have six months insurance on the Camaro so... I can't necessarily be driving right now too. But when the, winter, when the winter finally does end and summer does come back along, don't worry guys, we do got you. But yeah, so like I said, we're gonna do the five things I hate and five things I love about my Volvo S80 executive. Um, so I guess just starting out, I mean, five things I hate about it. One, the wheels. I like the wheels, I like the design and everything else. However, cleaning them is a freaking pain. And it's, one of those things of where either you love it or you hate it and i just happen to hate them because of the the, the uh, cleaning process but yeah i mean that's really it um and that's one of the things that i hate about the volvo s80 so number two the, the second thing i hate about my volvo s80 is it has adaptive cruise control again i love that however <laughs> when someone cuts you off it thinks that basically an accident about to happen and just slams on its brakes me and the other car behind me runs in the back of me luckily that hasn't happened yet but it has slammed the brake several times and that's one thing that I hate about it. It's also sort of dangerous too because if the person behind you isn't paying attention, they will hit the back of you, <laughs> which could be a very bad thing, obviously. Um, so, and I, heard, I hear that a lot of the new ones have fixed that problem. Like for, for instance, the Volvo S90, I hear that it's fixed that problem so now it doesn't slam on its brakes anymore depending on how um, big the threat is uh, per se. But yeah, I mean, that's just one of the other things that I hate about the car. So the third thing that I hate about the Volvo S80 is the rear, the rear seat legroom. And I'm six foot four. I mean, I'm, I'm tall. And with me being all the way back right now as I am in the front seat, really only person I can get back there is probably my little cousin. And she's maybe five feet, maybe. Um, but probably the only person I can actually get back there. Like I said, if you're a shorter person, you have plenty of room. But if you're a taller dude like me, then you have no room whatsoever and it's sort of uncomfortable after a while the seats and stuff are very comfortable it's just that legroom that you don't have sort of gets on your nerves a little bit so the fourth gripe that i have with it isn't really i guess bad per se i mean yes it is an expensive car back when it was brand new um but some of the materials that are in it are sort of the cheap plasticky not as bad as american cars were back in the day you know how dodge had all the really cheap plastic they didn't even try to hide it at all they just said this is what you got at least Volvo tried to hide it, but there's some cheap plastic that you can tell that um, they're, they're just cheap, basically. Um, and I know a couple of things, like looking around again, I mean, the air vents, they're just basically cheap plastic, which again, isn't the end of the world, obviously. I mean, it's it's an air vent, who really cares? But it does what it's supposed to do, really. But I mean, it's just sort of, I guess, one of the biggest gripes. Now, I will add to that it took me a little while to try to find something I didn't like about the car, about mine, per se. Um, because, I mean, honestly, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have bought it. So, that's just how it is. I mean, it, it's, to me, it's still, again, one of the greatest cars I've ever owned. And the fifth and final thing that I hate about this car is the fact that when Volvo designed it, they dim the trans. The transmission is, very, is a very dim-witted system. I'm not going to lie at all. I mean, yeah, it's good for what it's supposed to do. You know, it shifts gears perfectly fine. There's no problem at all. But you can't modify it without building a transmission on because again, like I like I said in a previous video, the tra the transmission from the factory comes like maxed out. So I mean, you can't really modify them. Which again, I don't really plan on modifying mine. Mine does have a tune on it, an, an aftermarket tune on it, so it does make it a little bit better. But I mean, again, it's still sort of a gripe that I have with it. Um, I, but I mean, I have I have 157,000 miles in this car, and I have yet to have a single problem out of anything with it really. So, I mean, it's a reliable car. It's reliable. The transmission is reliable on it. And uh, for the most part, I have yet to have any single problem out of it. So, I mean, I, I do like it a lot. Now, on to our five things that I love about this car. Now, these are ones that sort of came on top of my head, and these are completely true in my opinion. The first and biggest thing that I, have about this, I love about this car is the design of it. In 2007, Volvo recreated and redesigned the entire platform of the Volvo S80 and almost all their Volvo cars for that matter. Um, and from the 2006 design to now, to 2010, 
it looks miles better in my opinion. It doesn't look like a normal traditional Volvo would for old people basically. So like I said, as far as the design, they nail it out of the park. The S90, I love so much. And I, I will buy that car one day. I will buy a 2019 Volvo S90. But for now, I don't have a Volvo S80. Like the design is absolutely perfect for me. Uh, the next thing that I love about this car is massage seats. I mean, for 2010, and again, this is more like the E-Class competitor type of thing, the massage seats were very low in this car. And I mean, it, it actually massages you. It doesn't just push on your back. It doesn't just, you know, blow blow you know air into your back whatever it actually massages your back and it feels great the next thing that i love about the volvo s80 is the magnificent 4.4 liter v8 that volvo put in this car i mean it's one of and it, it literally has the reputation of being one of the world's most reliable v8 engines out there minus the ls because you all know how ls is um but it's it's so subtle it's so smooth it's the power delivery on it is absolutely perfect it doesn't hit you it doesn't hit you hard at the low end it doesn't hit you hard at the top end it's just very smooth power throughout the entire rpm band um and i mean it's quiet too like, as you can hear i'm not really you know yelling at all and for the price that i paid for this car it's very quiet um and if you do decide to put an exhaust on it they sound absolutely brutal like it it's one of the best sounding v8s with an exhaust that you could ever have, at least in my opinion. If you guys want to go into our Instagram and look at how it sounds, or you know, watch our previous video when I did the uh, rev rev with it, if you listen to it, it, this is a stock exhaust, obviously, but there's tons and tons of videos on YouTube and other social media platforms of people actually you know just doing up delete or just put on the full custom exhaust on it, and it sounds absolutely insane. I like to think of it as an old school AMG, like a true AMG Mercedes, like the SLR. It sounds just like that in my opinion. And as we all know, Noble used the same motor in the M600 and it sounds basically like that without the twin turbo sound also. But you know, it is one of the best sounding motors in my opinion also. All right, so the last two positive things I have about this car are about the safety and the comfortability of this car. This car, for the price point and for what kind of car it is, a Volvo, it is so comfortable. I mean, yes, just yesterday, we took it on about a 300 mile road trip to Cleveland and then passed it a little bit and came back for, you know, go, go look at a new car with a friend. But I mean, down and back, this thing performed flawlessly. I mean, over the, over obviously Ohio bumps and roads, Ohio bumps and roads, Ohio roads are just crap in the first place. It's Ohio. I mean, but this car, eats them up so nicely and to the point where you just don't feel a lot of them um like so we, we took the cleaning essay and had absolutely no problems whatsoever uh the safety of it too is hard now it, it's the one it was voted as 2010 ihss or whatever it's called top 10 safety cars of the year um and you can easily tell the doors are heavy it has, I guess, a double pane glass too that helps out a lot. Um, and just this, the safety features of the car for that year, a lot of other companies just couldn't match it all. And that's where Volvo has the reputation of being the safest car possible. And even to then, even today, to their new ones, it's still that same fact. Volvo has the safest cars out there on the road. And that's why I will always have a Volvo sitting in my garage somewhere, whether it's the S80, the new S90. The next S100, for example, I mean, it won't be called that, I'm sure. I'm just throwing out numbers right now. But stuff like that, too. So, I mean, it's, like I said, I will and always stand by Volvo. But, yeah, uh, well, thank you so much for watching this really short and uh, sweet little video about Volvo. If you guys have any questions, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to, to uh, follow us on Instagram at evolutions with two S's, E V o-l-u-t-i-o-n dot s-s and i mean like i said and i promise you guys we will have fun videos coming out very soon it's just we're in ohio and ohio weather being you know really crappy one day it's nice out one day it's winter out you know so i, I promise you the Volvo, not the Volvo, but the camaro the mustang and the evo are all coming to the channel very soon but yeah thank you guys for watching and uh have a nice day see ya